Okay, so I'm going to look at Open SUSE uh, because it's very, very easy to install on Berry Boot. And if you want to look up Berry Boot, I've got a couple of videos on Berry Boot uh, that explain. This will be running from an SSD. It's a 4 gig Pi 4. Um, and this was, uh, so what they say about this operating system, I've had a look on Wikipedia uh, and it says it's widely used throughout the world. The focus of its development is creating usable open source tools for software developers and system administrators while providing a user friendly desktop and feature rich server environment. Now, uh, your root and password, so uh, your username is root and your password is Linux. So let's start that. So it's a really nice operating system, looks very slick. Oh, it's come up with a tab, so it's come up with what I was last on. Oh, that's interesting. Let's just close that down and go straight to the, to the desktop. Okay, so quite a slick looking desktop. Um, you often get down the bottom here, uh, it tells you about updates that are available. Uh, now, when I first installed this, there was, I think, 239 updates. Uh, and then a couple of days later I tried it and there was another 63. So it feels a lot like Windows in that way, continually updating. But, uh, but I guess it's all to do with security and all the apps and it's good that it's doing it on its own, uh, which is interesting. You can see useful uh, taskbar here, a nice show desktop icon there as well, uh, and a configure panel. There you go, which you can do various things with that. More settings, spaces, widgets, and so on. This is a, a really smart looking operating system. Uh, I usually do my test where I try and get hold of my NAS drive and I couldn't find my NAS drive on this. Uh, I figured it might be under network um, and this network. But I tried several things the other day and I, c I couldn't get it to find anything. But I really like the way that the folder structure looks and obviously it's Linux so you can install a different system uh, if you like. So let's close that down and click on the chameleon. And you can see that I think this is probably recent things that I've used. Uh, and you've got a nice universal search, which I always like. Uh, and then if I go to favorites, well, I haven't put any favorites in, applications. Now I would like this to, as you hover over it, to open that up. It's just, I think it's just a bit slicker. But if I click on it, you can see board games, chess game. Let's go back to all applications, graphics. So GIMP comes installed. Internet, nice to see uh, two browsers, Chromium and Firefox on there. I think Chromium didn't work for me, so it might be the x86 version that's installed. Uh, so as you can see, fire, firewall and administrator settings, system settings, package update, and so on system all sorts of things in here different file manager there look midnight commander file manager let's have a look at that what does that look like oh crikey yeah see retropie comes with various things like this it's never been as intuitive for me but i guess if you do a lot uh, and it's your thing i'm sure it runs very fast and probably gives you more access to folders and files and so on to so utilities. Mouse click, character selector, screen magnifier. Oh, went back then. Uh, applications. Oh, so you can... So that goes automatic. I'm not clicking on that. And that feels quite snappy. I'd, I'd felt that the operating system had, had been a bit slow before. But actually, this, this feels better now. Help center. Yeah, all sorts in there. It's interesting to see. Right, let's fire up the web. This is um, multiple desktops as well, desktop one and two, which is nice. Haven't really got anything else plugged in. That's my SD card, I guess. That I'm running the uh, Berry Boot from, yeah. Let's go to Firefox because, as I said, I don't think Chrome works. No sound working for me on this. I tried my sound card fix by plugging in a sound card to see if that worked, and that didn't work. Um, and I also tried connecting a Bluetooth speaker, but Bluetooth wasn't recognized at all. This is, this is nice looking, isn't it? So search, let's go for BBC. Let's open up another tab. Hot UK deals. and YouTube, which is already down there. So we go back to BBC. Yeah, this is actually running 
and it's scrolling quite nicely as well. So the first couple of times I tried this, it really, it really hadn't settled in and it was applying updates, but after I did the updates, I would reboot it and it still wasn't particularly fast. But yeah, I'm actually finding that this feels all right now. Yeah, it was loading up pretty well. I'm overclocked to two gig, which is what I usually do. Uh, so if I start playing, well, let's do one of my own videos. Oh. Get something with a bit of movement in it. Uh, where's number four? Actually three will have some movement as well. So no sound, which is fair enough. It's uh, it's probably an early build. It's uh, and and with these updates, with these regular updates, maybe it'll sort itself out. Right, I'll sit back a little bit. Yeah, you're getting a little bit of tear in there, which is which seems to be pretty much uh, what we expect. I'll skip that advert and go into my video because that'll have a bit more movement. Ooh, that's running in slow motion anyway. That bit, right? So if I oh there you go. Oh crikey, it's a bit. Uh, Let's just up the resolution. I usually go for, oh, missing options. Why is that? Okay, so something to do with the browser then. Wow, okay. Let's play it in a smaller window. It's playing okay. And I got some more, and the scrubbing, yeah, the scrubbing's working all right. But it's still, uh, WebOS is still the best one for playing 1080 YouTube videos. I thought I had more. I thought I had more movement. Maybe it's mostly at the start, is it? Yeah, well, that's only running at 360, so you don't expect tearing at 360 anyway. So I'll just double check that I, I did um, close tabs. I'm pretty sure Chromium wasn't working. Uh, so applications, internet, it's definitely running a lot faster than it was. So maybe with one of these updates that it's had, it sped something up or added some more support for the Pi. And oh, it doesn't look like that's working, does it? Doesn't look like that's launching. System settings. It's always nice to see how much you can you can change all the things. This is nice, isn't it? This this does look very uh, like a really nice modern operating system. Uh, actually, it. it it's got a similarity to macOS the way it does those, all the settings and things. So global theme. So I think I've seen that breeze and something else before. Oh yeah, KDE, isn't it? Yeah. So I have seen that before. There's the dark operating system. Plasma style. Ooh, oh. Not easy to get an idea of what what it's going to look like, is it? From that, what do I like the look of? Maybe that one. Do I have to download it? Hit apply. I don't really know if it's doing anything or not. Install from file. Get new. Oh, get new plasma styles as well. Look at that. That's interesting. Oh, it's all, look at that one there. Where, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? That one looks <laughs> like Space Invaders, first of all. This looks smart as well, though. Blur glassy. Light plasma theme, very transparent. Blur blue. <coughs> Blur. Blue elements dominate when they're rendering, and it's not going to tell me anymore. So I hit install. So do I have to go back from that? Oh, it appeared somewhere. There it is. So if I click on that and apply. Oh, yeah, it has done something. Look. So if I was to click on this, which looks a bit dark now. Oh, it's not very contrasty, is it? Well, lots of customization. There you go. You can see that the audio isn't working on there. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, nice looking operating system. Uh, and certainly a lot faster than I found it was before. Yeah, I don't like that theme. It's way too dark, isn't it? So where was that? That was under system, was it? 
Yeah, so let's go for something lighter. Let's go for air and apply. Oh yeah. It's funny because I'm looking at the screen and obviously this bit's not changing, but this bit is, it's the, it's the outer part that's changing. So uh, when I click on that now, yeah, that looks, that's much more contrasty and nicer to look at. Okay, so that's my first look at OpenSUSE. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.